Let's solve this equation. We're going to manipulate it so it looks like a quadratic equation. Let's mess around with the 25 to the x. We can write it as 5 squared to the x. If this is our u, we will need a u squared. So somehow we want to get that x back with the 5. Power to the power is multiplication. And we can switch the order there. We can say it's 5 to the x times 2. And then we'll go backwards on this power to the power rule. So we'll have 5 to the, to the x squared. So let's rewrite this now. If we let u equal 5 to the x, we'll have an equation that's quadratic in form. Okay, let's solve it. It factors nicely. So we have that u equals negative 2, or u equals 1. Well, we really want to solve for x rather than u. So let's replace our u with 5 to the x. Now 5 to the x is always a positive number, so it will never equal negative 2. So this equation just has a solution of empty set. 5 to the x equals 1. Well, 5 to the 0 power is 1, and that's the solution. You might recognize this left-hand side. It's the hyperbolic sign, or cinch for short. You multiply both sides by 2 and subtract the right-hand side from both sides. We have that e to the minus x there that we'd like to get rid of it. There's a little trick. We're going to multiply both sides by e to the x. e to the x is never 0, so it's okay to do that. Let's distribute through. e to the x times e to the x. If you have the same base and you're multiplying, you add your exponents. So this will be e to the 2x minus e to the x times e to the minus x. We'll add these exponents. x minus x is just 0. So e to the 0 is 1, and then minus 10 e to the x. So let's rewrite this so this looks more like a quadratic equation. Let's let u equal e to the x. So we have u squared minus 10u minus 1 equals 0. That does not factor nicely. Let's find out if it even has real solutions by taking the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. It's 100 minus a negative 4. So it's positive. So yes, we'll have solutions. We'll need to use the quadratic formula. So that's our u. Now let's get back to x. So we have e to the x equals 5 plus the square root of 26, or e to the x equals 5 minus the square root of 26. The square root of 25 is 5, so tw square root of 26 is a little bigger than 5, so 5 minus root 26 will be negative. So e to the x is never negative, so this equation has no solution. To solve this one, we need to bring down that x from our exponent. And the way to do that is to natural log both sides. So x equals the natural log of 5 plus the square root of 26. Let's get a decimal representation on that. It equals 2.312 to three decimal places.